So I don't know how to talk in one of these videos or what I should say or how to start it. It's fall and I wanna do some fall eye makeup. Everything else is done. And uh, yeah, that'd be fun. My husband and my son and I are going out to a jack-o'-lantern spectacular tonight, which is just a ton of jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. And it's gonna be a lot of fun, which means we gotta do some fun fall spooky makeup. This is the palette we gotta use. It is October. This is the palette, October's palette. Yes. I'm just gonna go in and do my eyes really quick. Everything's done, like I said. Basically, so check this out, look. This is a little candle holder that I use to keep my brushes in. I've had this for years and uh, I love it, super cute. So just to add to this book, I'm not really gonna go in too much depth about what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna use like some of these oranges in here. Play with it, whatever. So this palette doesn't have the names listed on it. They're not on the back. It came with like a plastic sleeve that had all the names in it. And I thought I kept it until I just opened the palette and saw it wasn't there. So I don't really know the names. We're doing great. Yeah, so definitely don't have the color list. I'm going in with this super like deep orange. Fucker, I'm not prepared. And I'm just popping that on my crease, probably further out than I should, but I always do just smoke it out really far because it's fun. Anyway, check if I'm focused. Basically, this is the first fall I've ever actually gotten to experience. I am from Florida where there are zero seasons. I don't even think it counts as having a summer because it's, it's worse than summer. However, I just moved to Kentucky not too long ago. Um, so this is my first fall. So I'm, 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 I keep looking out the window because there's just leaves falling already. Slowly they're changing and I'm just so excited. <laughs> it's been cool the last few days. It's gonna heat up for like two days and then drop back down, but already we're looking at a day where it's like in the 40s. I can't wait. Where I'm from, if it's in the 40s, it's wet and miserable and it lasts a day and then it's back in the 90s, so you're gonna get sick. I'm just going in with a darker shade on my crease. It's the same kind of like dark orangey brown and just kind of deepening that up and blending it back into that orange. And as I mentioned, this is more just for fun. I'm sure nobody would be able to follow along with me, but you know, that's the biggest thing. A lot of people ask me like, you know, how do you use your makeup or do your makeup? There's a lot of people who actually know makeup and products and ask me what I use and I can tell them. And it's a lot of fun to have the conversation of like, you know, people who actually know the products and you can tell them what you use and they can get pumped about it with you. And then there's people who are just like, wow, your makeup's really nice, you should make videos. I guess this is kind of, for both those people, I mean, but for me, I know like, I don't think it's very interesting to just watch someone sit and do their makeup. So that's why like, my husband's gonna help me later. We're gonna record while we're out and it's a lot of fun for me to like, I don't know, show something cool that I'm doing as opposed to just makeup. Plus it's, it's October, it's Halloween. I'm excited. I'm taking that bright orange back under my eyes. Probably, I don't do everything with one brush in case anyone was wondering. I just like to smoke everything out first and then I'll go in with something with a little bit more of a, a point and deepen it. But I do like to make it very, very smoky first. So I do just use a big fluffy brush. And then I'll start adding some dabs with like a dark brown in the corner with something a little more precise. And just buffing that back into what I did. And then we just end up with a a little more depth so it's not just high I put orange on my eyes which is fine I would do a one color look but if I'm putting six different colors on my eyes I want you to be able to see that there's six different colors on my eyes you know what I mean so I don't really know what else to talk about and um, I'm in no rush and plenty of time till we have to go out so you want to see something cool you see this wall behind me I don't know if you can really tell but we have a huge gallery wall in our living room beyond just a gallery wall of like a gallery above your couch. It's our entire living room. And we have a lot of cool stuff mixed with like tattoo flash sheets, artwork of my own, taxidermy. We have a lot of crazy stuff. And the most recent thing we've purchased are some moths and they're probably my favorite thing I own. So I got these bad boys. They're huge. Um, they are comet moths or Madagascar moon moths. 
they're very very big they're gorgeous like i have some atlas moths too that are bigger than them um but these guys just had my heart look how beautiful so it is a male and female and somebody stopped me on the way out when i bought this and told me that they were both males just some random person i've seen them enough to know that they're not because they look totally different um <laughs> But they're still pretty cool and I am so happy I bought them. So back to what this was supposed to be from the start. Uh, my eyes, because I'm probably looking pretty crazy. I mean, I'll look crazy when I'm done too. Don't get me wrong. We're not going for normal here. However, I'm not gonna finish my under eyes yet. This is usually where I'll just pop something shiny on my lids. So I'm either gonna go in with like this gorgeous gold or maybe something bronze to keep it dark. Or I did bring out my Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is his rainbow palette, basically, he said. So there's nothing too, I mean, there's a pretty orange, but I don't want to use that. But that yellow, that shimmery yellow is so pretty. We might do something with that. So I'm just going to play with it and we'll see. So I mentioned either doing bronze or gold or this yellow and kind of did all three. Um, so I went in with like this deep, bronze more towards the outside of my lid and I put this gold on the inside to start but then I ended up layering that Jeffree Star yellow over it this guy called lemon drop and it's so pretty it looks just very fiery so I have to do my under eyes and then highlight which I'll just use probably the brown that I used on my uh, outer corner outer crease, whatever, all that. It's in this whole region. Under my eyes just to deepen it and smoke it out. I think I may highlight with that lemon drop. It's fun. That's the fun thing about October. Um, well, anyone who's gonna be judgmental is judgmental pretty much all the time. But if it's October and you like to do weird makeup, it's the time where it's acceptable. People are like, oh my gosh, what's your costume? And you're like, it's fun. It's definitely the time of year where you're gonna get the backlash like I'm always told I look not weird but I always do too much it's like that's fun it's so pretty I'm not highlighting up here with that though I have the um, sugar glow kit from Anastasia I don't use this one all the time but for some reason during the fall it always like I start to use it because it just like this um, marshmallow color very yellowy so I'll, I'll whip it out and start to use it and then it's just I grab it every time I do my makeup it's just it's just got everything I need so that marshmallow color looks super good I still have some yellow on it but that marshmallow color is just very yellowy as it is um, I think it's too light to highlight my face with I go in with the shade called butterscotch which is glittery Usually I'll actually mix the two of them. I think that's what I'll do today, just so it still has a little of that yellow. And it's so ridiculous. And when I said I always go overboard, it is true with all things, including my highlighter. I just want to look shiny. And like I said, I don't do everything with one brush, I promise. I have this little round brush that I use to highlight my inner corner, as I did. And I use it to highlight my nose, too, just because more precise we don't want the entire bridge of your nose to just be like one shiny highlight i'm gonna throw on some mascara usually like when i go somewhere i like to wear lashes i don't wear them all the time and it's funny because i'll see people with just their natural eyelashes and mascara on and i always wonder why don't i have eyelashes so i'm just gonna put on mascara but i don't have really any eyelashes so we're gonna see what it looks like with just mascara on, I might put on eyelashes. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I didn't put on lashes because uh, I just don't care that much. So I did put on some mascara, eyeliner, and um, this Lime Crime lipstick, which is my absolute favorite. It is in the shade Cindy. I actually got it after um, a Jeffree Star shade I really liked ran out, and that was called Leo, and this was as close as I could get to it without actually purchasing Jeffree Star. 
just because they sell this at Ulta and I had a gift card. <laughs> but I wear it almost daily. Um, a warm, smoky eye is a go-to for me. So I'm all ready. Um, we're just gonna hang out, wait for it to get a little darker because you can't see jack-o'-lanterns to their fullest extent during the daytime. So yeah, we're gonna get ready and we'll head out later. than I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Anyways, my little one is in bed and my husband and I are probably just gonna make some coffee, uh, watch some scary movies, something to that effect. Hopefully, this will not be my last video. I've got some other ideas and as long as this goes well, I will see you guys next time. <laughs> 